Welcome to Easy Talks. Today, let us learn, what is permissible daily exposure limit, or PDE. It is very important for a pharmaceutical manufacturing company, to know the permissible exposure limit, of various ingredients or chemicals, PDS, are derived to protect, patient population. Let me make it more clear, manufacturing facilities, may use the same equipments for manufacturing different products, hence chances of contamination from previously manufactured substances, are high. By having the knowledge of PDS, of previously manufactured products, or ingredients, it is easy to analyze, the risk of this cross-contamination, and to establish appropriate control measures, to limit the contamination. Thereby preventing potential risk, to the patient population, by exposing, to unwanted contaminants in the final product. Example, if a manufacturing facility, use same equipment for manufacturing products, for adults and pediatrics, hope you can imagine the dangers it can cause, because of cross-contamination by other chemicals, which are used for previously manufactured products. Hope, all are clear about the rationale, behind deriving permissible daily exposure limits. Having said, permissible exposure limit, of a pharmaceutical ingredient, is the limit beyond which, the exposure to the ingredient, can cause serious health hazards, to the patient population. In other words, concept of permissible exposure limit is, a substance specific dose, that is unlikely to cause, an adverse effect, if an individual is exposed at, or below this dose, every day, for a lifetime. Let us see, the steps involved, in calculating, or deriving permissible daily exposure limit. First step, is to identify the hazard, by reviewing all relevant data. Next step, is to identify, the critical effects. Next step, is determination, of the NOAEL, of the findings that are considered, to be critical effects. Finally, using the formula, with appropriate adjustment factors, daily exposure limits will be derived, adjustment factors are used, to account for various uncertainties. For deriving permissible daily exposure limits, values of point of departure, weight adjustment factor, factor 1 to factor 5, modifying factor, and bioavailability factor, are used as in the formula. Let us see, what is, POD. Point of departure. In toxicology, point of departure, POD, is defined as, the point on a toxicological dose response curve, established from experimental data, or observational data, generally corresponding to an, estimated low effect level, or no effect level. It marks, the beginning, of extrapolation to toxicological reference dose, RFD, or reference concentration, RFC. PODs include, NOAEL or NOEL or at low AEL or LOEL, to know more about, NOAEL. Please go through, Module 7 of General Toxicology Series. Therefore, identifying the appropriate PODs, are very important, in deriving correct permissible daily exposure limit of a substance, hence only experienced toxicologist, are allowed to derive these limits, we will be discussing, more about point of departure, in our future modules. Next, let us understand, weight adjustment. Below adjustment values, must be used in the formula, to derive respective PDS, example, if PDE of children, for peristomal is to be calculated, 10 kg need to be, considered as the weight adjustment. For adult it is 50 kg, for children it is 10 kg, for newborn it is 3.5 kg, for prematurely born, newborn baby it is half a kilogram. Next, we'll see what are adjustment factors, however, we will be explaining, in detail about adjustment factors, in our future modules. F1, stands for, extrapolation between species. F2, stands for, inter-individual variability. F3, stands for, duration of exposure. F4, stands for severity of toxicity. F5, 
stands for NOAEL or NOEL or ATLO AEL or LOEL. MF stands for additional modifying factor. Alfalfa is a factor for correction for bioavailability. Let us see parts of APDE report. It contains company name, company address, toxicologist's name and signature and date, assessment review date, chemical name to which PDE is calculated for. Next section is hazards identified, which includes whether the chemical is a genotoxic and whether the chemical is reproductive developmental toxicant whether the chemical is a carcinogen whether the chemical has highly sensitizing potential and the next part is basis for the PDE expert must provide justification for selection of lead critical effects used for the final permissible daily exposure limit calculation NOAEL and applied adjustment factors, upon which daily exposure limit is based. Next part is, references. And the final part of the report is, summary of expert CV. Please stay tuned, for the upcoming modules, there we will explain more about, adjustment factors, examples of PDE, calculations, and case studies. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this module, Please like and subscribe, also request to provide, your comments below to improve our contents, please do not forget to click notification button, for immediate updates. Happy learning! If you want to get certified by EasyTalks, please check the description of this video.